Why can't we have a movie about clouds? Drop this other gay faggot bullshit. Focus on the clouds. They're the only thing that comes out good on video. Look, you're making an amateur movie. Dealing with amateur actors. Take a cue from Mr. Lucas. When he did American Graffiti, a lot of the times, he would just turn on the camera, and no one knew, and film it like it was. Genuine, naturalistic, coming out of his documentary apprenticeship. I heard over 50% of the movie was shot that way, but maybe that's a lie. Is there anything else of referentiality I could say about the filmmaking process? Anything? There has to be. Yeah, well, yeah. Um... Christian, what finally brought you to suicide is the only option. Tyler, I realized it was the only option. I realized it was the only option. Used to be, I thought that suicide was the cheap way out. There didn't seem to be much imagination in it. I can remember, I can remember reading an old high school textbook that Hemingway died of a self-inflicted gun wound. They made it sound like a hunting accident. Later I found out he shot himself, and I thought, what a fucker. Here's a guy who had the world on an oyster, a guy who was literate and worldly, who traveled all over the planet, knew everyone. I mean, did he not realize he was Ernest Hemingway? But I guess he found out where the road leads you. He came to know what life means. He came to the ultimate truth. Christian. Hemingway was a heavy drinker, wasn't he? Tyler. Yes, he was. Can't say I blame him. We need a little imagination. Tyler is, at this point, drinking some type of alcoholic beverage. There's not enough imagination in the universe anyway. We have to accelerate out our own natural causes to get where it is at the end of the line. What does that mean? They'll fly. Christian, would you classify yourself as a nihilist? Tyler, I wouldn't classify myself as anything other than that poor class known as human beings. Besides, nihilists still go on living. I don't believe in that kind of thing. Christian, what's your favorite food? Tyler, meat. Christian, how do you like it? Tyler, the redder, the better. I want to slaughter that cow the way they slaughtered Christ. People keep eating him despite all this cancer you hear about. I guess that's a reference to uh, communion. Cut to exterior nearby park slash visually spectacular location. Vanning and Von Neufeld go to hash it out after school. They walk to a nearby park and end up in some visually resplendent area like Big Sur or Capri or some such beautiful locale. They stand on a cliff overlooking a valley in the friscolating dusk light. Von Neufeld espouses a not too obvious Nietzschean ideal to put everything we have seen up till now in context. Von Neufeld smokes a cigarette while they are walking. At some point, he finishes it and tosses it into some scrub brush. There is an Altman-like zoom in. Then we cut to a zoom out of distant smoke with Von Neufeld and Vanning ascending the mountain. Some of the climbing is needlessly tough and overdone. They are sweating. Their clothes are becoming tattered rags. Cuts and sores are appearing. And still they press on, like Butch and Sundance. 
Banning. So that's it. That's everything I know. Von Neufeld. It's something. Vanning. But it's not enough. And it's not going to get what's in that vault. Von Neufeld. Don't be so sure. Vanning. Look, I don't know where all this could possibly go. At this point, they reach a cliff. Von Neufeld. Right out there, that's where. The camera careens over the edge, like in The Last Temptation of Christ, where Willem Dafoe talks about God wanting to push him over the side. Von Neufeld. I'm telling you right now, this job has to be done. Vanning. With who? With what? Von Neufeld. With whatever it takes. Vanning. It's illegal. It's against the law. Von Neufeld roars with laughter. Von Neufeld. Law? Tell me about the law. Tell me about what you know about it. But you're forgetting one thing, and it's the most important thing we can cling to. It's not a crime to commit a crime against a criminal. So right there, the whole thesis is gone, destroyed. And there's more than that too. In the end, everybody winds up unhappy and dead. I want to go away forever, and look back at most only once. We don't hide, and we die young, with our hands and our hearts full. It's winter now, but soon it will be spring, and then late spring, and the last day will come. And as I totter into oblivion, I will take with me the flickering memory that I was once alive and young. Fanning, memory, isn't what it was. Von Neufeld, certainly not, but there is something worse than a memory. Something worse than a regret for what was, and that is regret for what was not. Regret for what we might have achieved, but never did. Vanning. Well, I tried shooting myself in the head. Well, I haven't tried shooting myself in the head, either. Von Neufeld. Ha! That's just what Bern McStab said a week before they cut his own throat. <laughs> Alex, what are you writing? Christian, letter to my girl. Alex, you got a girl? Christian, yeah. Alex, she pretty? Christian, yeah, I got a picture. Christian takes out a picture and hands it to Alex. Alex, looks nice. Christian, you got a girl? Alex, no. Pause. Alex, so what did you write in your letter? Christian, just, uh, stuff. You know, emotions. Stuff they like to read. Alex, yeah, I guess. How often do you write? Christian, all the time. Usually it's just babbling. Makes no sense. I guess I do it to take my mind off things. Alex, that's funny. Christian, what is? Alex, writing to take your mind off something. Whenever I write, I get really focused. Never thought of it that way. Christian, it's like reading poetry. Alex, poetry? Christian, mm-hmm. You can read a poem and not pay attention, but it sounds wonderful. Alex, I was always too busy figuring out the meaning. Christian, well, you shouldn't have. They fall on the couch, having sex and so forth. The local citizen is standing with his arm on the mantle, further establishing that his character is a pussy. The sex is more aggressively depicted than before. They're really making out and grunting and whatever happens when you do it. The sounds morph into hands clapping and we cut to a close-up of hands clapping. It's a second in command. He's standing right in the living room. Second in command. What an ass. But I can't quite decide which one I like better. Aesthetically. The second in command sits in a chair in a very sophisticated fashion. He has a drink or something. Like Michael Caine in the last part of Sleuth. Second in command. Let me compliment you both on the bravura performance. It was worth both my time and expense.
Why can't we have a movie about clouds? Drop this other gay faggot bullshit. Focus on the clouds. They're the only thing that comes out good on video. Why can't we have a movie about clouds? Why can't we have a movie about clouds? Why can't we have a movie about clouds?